This video is about Visio 2010 connectors and connection points tutorial. And this is some advanced topics, the second video in that series. Uh, we're in Visio, and I uh, just opened a spreadsheet. I'm going to import a couple of graphics in here. These are uh, items uh, clipped off the internet. And I'm going to draw a equipment uh, wiring diagram. So these are a couple of graphics that I have here. Now, let's select both of these. And import it into the drive. Now, Visio has uh, at least an, an annoying habit of, by default, uh, having a setting in the page setup where it wants to expand the page as needed. And usually, we're trying to fit on a certain size page. So, in any case, so I'm going to uh, select this projector. Right here, and this object is Blu ray player, and it's obviously running on a different scale. And let's set this here. My goal here is to draw a cable, and in this case, we're going to use some objects instead of just connecting lines the way we've done in previous drawings. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and Create part of a uh, connector. And this is a connector designed specifically to fit into that port. And then I'm going to uh, give it a fill color and make this bigger. And I'm going to round the corners off a little bit. Since this is such a small object, that looks about like what I had in mind. And then I'm going to uh, put a connector, connection point right in the center of this. Hold down a control key. So now this is going to be actually uh, an HDMI connector. And I'm going to Go down to the projector and then also install right here a connection point. So now if I go and select this item and drag it down here, it'll oops, no, not quite. It doesn't quite do what I wanted to do there. I have to go back, right click on that connection point, and it can be changed to uh, outward or inward and outward. In this case, we go with inward and outward, so it can also have other things that are uh, connected to it. So now, when I take this down here, it will lock onto that connection point. So I'm going to copy that. Just, uh, turn it around a little bit. And Zoom in here. Use the connection point tool. So be sure to select my Blu ray player. Put a connection point right here. And then that locks in place. Now, last thing is here, I'm going to put a line between these two. And the thing is, of course, our cables don't usually look like that exactly. So here I'm going to select my connector and change it to a curved connector. And it will enable us to do some things here. Now I'm 
uh, not able to quite get this thing to curve the way that I want to. And the reason is that it doesn't really have enough points for me to control. So I'm going to go here to the line tool. And I'll hold down a control key and click on this. And that's going to give me some extra points. And then I can take the cable and do a lot more with it. So by adding the control points, now if I want, I can delete those control points by just selecting them. Then I can, if I have too many, and it's interfering with the line. With that done, I'm going to change the color of my connector. And yeah, just to dress this up a little bit, I'm going to uh, go over here to design. And pick a uh, theme. Go over to borders and titles. And pick a border. And then I'm going to pick a background. And finally, I'm going to go and pick a color theme. Yeah, that one. Okay, background here and title this. And one last step here is I like that patch cable to be just a little larger. So I'm going to go and put my line size here and increase that. So this would be a way to. Uh, do an actual equipment uh, diagram showing uh, the cables and things that go in here between the equipment. It would uh, enable you to use curved uh, cables. For further information, go to drinfrastructure.com.